What's good, beer fam? This is Big Tone coming at you again from Big Tone Productions Beats and Feast. You know what time it is. It's time for another cooking video. Today we're going to do something that kind of... Uh, well, I got the inspiration from being down in South Florida. So, it's going to be a Cuban sandwich. A Cubano. I think that's how they pronounce it down there. Cubano? Cubano? Whatever it is, it's a Cuban sandwich. And I'm going to do my take on it. If you like the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your post notifications. Make sure you share the video. And hey, let's get started with the Cuban sandwich. So the supporting cast for this video is as follows. So I'm going to start with the, I got some pulled pork or roasted pork here that I cooked up. And um, you got to have this. This is the most important part of it. Whether you like it chunky or you like it pulled, it's totally up to you. But you got to have that. So I got that. And if you want to see the video of me making that, I did a pulled pork sandwich, and I'll put I'll put a tag up there so you can click on it and go right over to it. And then I got the bread. Now, some of you true my Cuban viewers are gonna get on me. I'm not in Cuba, nor am I in South Florida, so it's not easy for me to get some Cuban loaf bread. But I got some bread here. Uh, I think this is like a classic, a French loaf, but it will serve the purpose. So deal with it. Um, I got some pickles cut up here. I got some Swiss cheese and some. This is some smoked ham. I didn't make it. It's smoked from the store. Yellow mustard, mayonnaise, a little bit of cayenne pepper, and we got some butter. That's all that goes on this sandwich. So it's very simple, very easy, very quick. The biggest part of it is the, um, the roasted pork that you may have. But let's get started putting this together. All right, so the first thing I'm going to start with is the sauce, which is essentially just equal part mayonnaise or in equal part um, yellow mustard. So we're going to put a little bit of mayonnaise here in the bowl. Yeah, that should be plenty. And we're going to do some just plain old yellow mustard. No Dijon, no honey mustard. Plain old yellow mustard. And we're going to stir this up. We're gonna add a little bit of cayenne pepper to it. Just a dash. And continue stirring this up until it gets up, mixed up really nice. So at this point it becomes more like a spread. And we're just gonna set that aside. Now let's start constructing the sandwich here. So, like I said, my Cuban viewers, forgive me, but this is what I had to work with. All right, so we're gonna take the bread here and we're gonna take some of our sauce. And we're gonna pretty liberally spread it. I got a little too much on this one. We're gonna transfer some of that over to the other side. We're gonna go ahead and put sauce on the whole thing here. Same with this one. There we go. All right. So after we got that down, we're gonna start with our cheese. We're gonna put a nice base layer of cheese here. Swiss cheese. That's the called for cheese for the sandwich. I guess you could substitute like a provolone if you wanted to, but we're doing a traditional sandwich here. Put one more base layer. There we go. Next thing we're going to do is go in with our ham. Ah, oh, yeah, look at that. There we go. After the ham goes on, we're going to go in with our pulled pork, our pork chunks. Put as much as you want on that. And this has to be warm or hot too. That's some of the secret of melting the cheese on there. So once we put it on the griddle, put a little bit more down here. Oh God, that's gonna be good. All right, so the last step is the pickles. 
So we're gonna go ahead and put a couple pickles on here. One more. There we go. All right, we're gonna flip this over. Oh, I'm sorry. Left off another step. We're gonna put cheese on this side. And we're gonna push it down here. And we're gonna take this right over to the griddle and we're gonna grill it. So I flipped the sandwich over. Now I'm gonna do the other side the same way. So I'm just gonna put my pan on top. Apply a little pressure. Ah, there we go. Don't forget that butter, guys, because that really helps brown it up on that side. And I've decided to use my mortar or my pest or my mortar and apply weight to it. That's got a few pounds to it. So we're gonna let that sit there. When I'm done with this, we'll uh, plate it up for you. Ah, look at that. Woohoo! All right, guys. So I'm gonna take this over to the plate. I want you to see something. I'm gonna do the hardness test. Look at that. That's what you want. You hear that? All right, guys. Right, look at this sandwich. I, I don't really have too much to say. All I know is I'm gonna, I'm waiting for that bite. Cuban sandwich, done at home. You don't need to go to South Florida. You don't need to go to Cuba. You can do this right in your house. So, hey guys, this looks awesome. I got to plate it up with a few deviled eggs. You can check out that video as well. Let me take a bite. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now, this is the best sandwich that I've had in a long time. The best sandwich. Hey guys, go ahead and go over and get one of my Still Made USA grills. Click on the link, put in Big Tone, it'll give you 10% off. And guys, if you like this video, do me a favor and go ahead and smash the like button, subscribe, comment on the video, make sure you share it. Hey guys, this is Big Tone signing off. Peace.